Hello again, YouTube. Uh, this is Gareth Talks with uh, my first um, topic video that I'm going to talk about. If you've been watching, sorry I've left it so long. It's just uh, I've been uh, and, and I've had I've had, ugh, I've had uh, a lot of things to do. I've been busy with college and I haven't had any ideas. But um, first, um, I'm I'm going to talk about a funny story that happened to me when I was younger. Uh, it's a story that gets talked about quite a lot around my friends and things like that. At the time, it was pretty embarrassing, but now that I think about it, it was a uh, it was pretty funny. So, um, I think I was about fourteen, and um, we went. Me and my friends were down the local playing fields in the, in where I live, and they're playing football on there. And the gates, and the place closed around eight o'clock. So uh, we were playing football, and the next thing you know, it's about nine o'clock. Being 14, I had to be in by about half nine. Uh, so I thought, right, let's get going. Walk to the gate. Obviously, the gate's closed. Wait, wait. Oh, we're like, oh, no, what are we going to do? And then someone suggested that there was, a, there was a gap in the fence just a bit further down than where the gate was. So we're like, all right, let's walk down there, see if we can get through the gate. Everyone gets through, and it's my turn, right? Me being a big, a biggish guy, yeah... I get through, try and get through. Next thing you know, I get stuck, yeah? My leg gets stuck, right? And literally, if I had to pull my leg any further, it could have broken, right? So instead, I was told by other people that they'd come back round and they'd walk the long way. There was a way that we could get through the, the, where, where all the trees were and the woods were. But that I didn't want to walk through the woods at that time because I was young and I was just I was a bit of a pussy, so... Yeah, um, that happens. Um, so yeah, I'm stuck in this fence, and there's just me and my friend Adam, and he is like he's he he's burst out laughing when I've told him I'm stuck and I can't get out, and I, I'm panicking. I go, Adam, it's not fucking funny. I'm stuck in this fence. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I somehow I get my phone out of my pocket and I go, Adam, ring the fire brigade. Yeah, <laughs> and. He did. He rang him up, and I remember the phone call. He was like, "Hello, uh, it's not a prank call or anything, uh, but um, my f my mate's stuck in a fence and he can't get out." And he was like, he stopped talking. Then he goes, "Yeah, a fence." And I'm thinking, "Oh my god, oh my god!" Then the rest of my friends come, right? Yeah, and my mate Jeff, first thing he does is decide to record the thing, doesn't he? Record me stuck in this fence. And then these these two girls walk by, yeah, laughing, drinking. They're like, you're all right, mate, you're all right, mate. I'm just fucking embarrassed, now. And the next thing you know, the fucking fire truck comes, flashing lights and everything. About five, five firefighters get out. Yeah, they get this some kind of machine out to break the fence open. Next thing you know, I'm crawling out and I'm standing up. And you could tell that the fire brigade, want, that they wanted to laugh at me, but... I was just like, yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right, shaking a bit, and then I get walking. These two girls are like, oh, do you want a can of beer, do you want a can of beer? And I was like, no, no. But my mate Jeff put this video on YouTube, right? And at the time, I was like, Jeff, don't put it on YouTube because, right, my, um, I was smoking at the time, and one of my, one of my other friends said, um, I would ask him for a fag, but he's stuck in the fence, and I didn't want my parents to know. If my parents had saw that video and found out I was smoking, I'd have been in trouble at the time. So I was like, no way, no way, just take it down. And so he did, he took it down. But um, I ended up telling my parents when I got in. And instead of like, like being mad that I was late, they both just burst out laughing. Laughing at me. And I was like, oh, I was just more relieved that I wasn't in trouble. I was kind of glad that they found it funny <laughs> than I was that being in trouble. And then, um, yeah, it was a good laugh about it. A few weeks later, it was in the paper. Yeah, somehow, it was in the paper that um, young lad stuck in a fence, fire again, had to break it. And I'm pretty sure they've fixed it up since, they've fixed the fence back up since then. And this, this story went around school and everything, and everyone was laughing. I was always a good sport about it, because if, at the end of the day, it's a funny story, and it's, it, it just happened to happen to me. And even at my prom... Uh, I won the award for keeping the fire brigade in service, um, which was a good laugh. 
So, and even to this day, we still talk about it and have a laugh about it. So, yeah, I guess that's the story. Stuck in a fence. That's me. I'm, guy, I'm the guy that got stuck in a fence. But, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, um, leave a like. Also, if you got any similar stories or any funny stories, let me know and I'll read the comments. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share the video. This is Gareth Talks and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.